at no point did I expect to cry at the end of West Side Story. I have quite an up and down relationship with the music in general. Just a very brief overview so you know where my opinions are coming from. About 10 or 12 years ago I saw a production of it and it was appalling. So I never watched the classic film until about two weeks ago and I thought it was pretty decent. Some issues with pacing but generally very moving but not enough to make me cry. I had been desperate to see the Spielberg film, not just because Rita Moreno's in this one as well, um, I think she's fantastic, but because I, I like a lot of the songs and I was really keen to see what Spielberg would do with it. And I'm not going to give any spoilers for the narrative, but I will say that it, you know, it rings true of the musical. The narrative is following a pretty similar structure I, as I've only seen the musical, the film itself. Once I can't remember exactly how much of it is identical in terms of the narrative, but we get from A to B in pretty much the same way. I won't say what that B is, but I will say I watched most of this film enjoying it, but not overwhelmed. But my favourite scene, my favourite scene is a spoiler, so I'll discuss it at the very end of this, but my favourite scene with the original Anita having a scene with the current Anita and then what happened afterwards just <laughs> completely made me cry buckets by the end of it. It was so moving. And I, I just, I applaud Spielberg for what he's done with this. Because while I think the classic film will hold a, a special place in a lot of people's hearts, I had no real emotional attachment to it. So for me, this, this is my version of West Side Story. This was obviously released last year in 2021. It is now on Disney+. Plus genuinely surprised by how quickly it went on to Disney Plus um, but really overjoyed by that. Directed of course by Spielberg, um, the film screenplay is by Don Tony Kushner based on the stage play and book by Arthur Lawrence and the casting is brilliant. Tony is played by Ansel Elgort and Maria is Rachel Zell Zegler and or perhaps Ziegler and her her vocals are amazing. Her version of I Feel Pretty is so beautiful and that sequence itself is stunning. The direction there is amazing. The scene with the mirrors, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was incredible. And I know this is kind of the least important aspect of the film. Um, well, not necessarily. We have a point where Maria feels like she's finally in a place of happiness. So it does mark an important turning point, but I know there are more important scenes. If you're unaware of the film, it's basically a rival, uh, a rival story about the sharks and the jets. We have the um, we have the white gang and then the Puerto Rican gang, and obviously they hate each other because they're different. It's a story we see time and time again, and certainly one that West Side Story champions. Certainly, even though I'm not that emotionally attached to the musical in general, if you ask me to name any any narrative that deals with rival gangs because of colour or culture or heritage, it would be West Side Story. And I don't know if this is true, but I feel like we get more fight sequences between the gangs here than we do in the classic film. And I, I can't remember the stage production and how many fights there were in that, but I feel like we get more. I feel like you can feel the tension between the gangs here a lot more, but that could just be the way I kind of felt when I was watching this film. But certainly it's true that you do feel the tension and the rivalry and certainly a rivalry that exists for no real reason other than they're different which is so infuriating and it is one of the most frustrating musicals uh, or films because you just want to bash their heads together and tell them to wisen up and stop being silly little boys playing silly little games and carrying guns and weapons and trying to be hard men for no reason and that's obviously as the film progresses the whole for no reason is is very apparent and certain upsetting tragic things that occur and I won't spoil it but certain things that happen you just think why if ever there was a film that makes gang culture look uncool it's West Side Story uh, and this certainly comes across here I'd like to think that if anybody in a gang watches this they will suddenly decide to change their ways because I think the message is very powerful Obviously, I can't see any more than that without spoiling anything, but the narrative itself is um, very clear, very easy to follow. Um, 
not more or less so than the classic. I know in some ways I shouldn't compare it to the classic, but when you're remaking a classic, that's going to happen. With regards to the, cho the choreography is brilliant, um, particularly the opening sequence, which drags on for so long. It's such a long number. But the choreography was pretty decent. Um, I kind of liked it. And that's, of course, throughout vocally, you know, all of the elements that make it a musical were really good and really strong. Spielberg can direct a musical. That is definitely what I've come away from this thinking and feeling. And absolutely, I hope he does more. I think he could do great work with certain musicals, maybe some new musicals. But either way, I enjoyed this, for the most part, the same amount as the classic. Um, although I do think the dance scene was much better here. I just preferred it more. I feel like it flowed more. I don't really know why. I can't pinpoint why, but I just preferred it. But the ending, so spoilers. Well, actually, no, one thing first I can say is Rita Moreno singing somewhere. Beautiful. One of my all-time favourite songs. Um, I knew the song before I even knew West Side Story, and I'm so glad she sang it. It's... Um, really beautiful. Spoiler. So big spoiler, I'm about to discuss the final few scenes. Um, well, not even the final few scenes, this one quite lengthy scene um, where Anita attempts to go and tell Tony that um, that Maria is no more. Um, of course, we know what happens in this scene. I'm, I'm assuming you know what happens since it's a spoiler. And Anita is very much um, mentally and emotionally abused, um, borderline raped, let's be honest. I will say this scene was not as powerful as it is in the, in the classic film. This is the only scene, that particular moment when they're in the shop and they're dragging her about, I feel like it felt more threatening in the classic. Now, I can't remember what rating the classic film has. I can probably check while I'm rambling on about this but Spielberg's is a 12a and to be honest um kind of glad West Side Story the original has a rating of a I don't know what that means um but I feel like the original was a bit more powerful but it still fight felt intimidating and intense um and Anita played by Ariana DeBose having a scene with um, Valentina, played by Rita Moreno, who played the original Anita, just, well, in some ways it, it amused me because I thought it was really great, but it also made me quite kind of emotional um, having the original Anita having a scene with the new Anita in the most pivotal scene. Um, this is a real turning point from here on to the end. There may be 10 minutes or less left in the film at this point. And I'm starting to well up already because it's just, you know, it was so beautiful having Anita and Anita. And obviously I love Rita Moreno, so any scene she was in was a winner. But also it's such a moving, powerful scene. And then what happens after, I can talk freely because I gave a spoiler warning, with the death. Um, again, I feel like this was done better in the classic with the two gangs coming together to lift up Tony's body um, and kind of suggested it's kind of suggested that they put their rivalries aside if only for that moment um, for Maria they come together to do this for Maria very similar message at the end here but I feel like it just wasn't quite as moving but again I cried more so I don't know what that says I think I was just so overwhelmed from the Anita scene um, and generally just really pleased with how the film went, that it really hit me. Um, you know, Natalie Wood did a fantastic job in the classic with this scene, and I do think the classic scene at the end was a lot more moving. But at the same time, um, with Valentina and Chino, um, as the camera pans out, just as Valentina picks up the gun um, and she holds on to Chino, and they just take a step forward as the police cars move in, and it, it feels conclusive. It feels like an end. And, you know, deep down, I don't think that would be the end of the gang rivalry. I think they're going to take revenge on killing Tony. Of course I do. But at the same time, I feel like it is a turning point for the gang. And if we saw 
the fo- the weeks that followed from this, I have tears down my cheeks. I, I genuinely think, or would like to think, I guess is more accurate, that we would see changes in the gang behaviour. Deep down, I don't really believe that. But I'd like to think that it would make a difference. It's just awful that it would come to this um, in order for that to happen. It's a beautiful film. Very well done. I hope Spielberg is proud of what he has done with this. As with the rest of the cast um, and, 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 the, and the crew involved. I'm so glad they cast Rita Moreno. Just it, for me because I'm a fan of her work. And then having just watched her in the classic film. It just gave it that little bit something extra. And I think they did a really great job with the film in general. If you haven't seen it. And you've never seen West Side Story, I'd actually say watch the classic first. I think it will give it more meaning and make it a bit more emotional. But of course, it can be watched on its own completely. You have you don't need any knowledge of West Side Story to enjoy it. It's moving as powerful. I think it's quite timely. Unfortunately, I think it will always be quite timely. Spielberg did a really great job with this, and evidently, it's it's moving. It's emotional and without question, it's absolutely worth watching.